Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we are finally going to be getting into uh, some different content, some tree and shrub content. And uh, today, here's my one of my mulberry trees. We have two of them. I've had to remove one, but I just started noticing. It's uh, only late April. Let me see what's what's the date. It is uh, April 25th, and we have web arms. These guys, I mean, it is pretty. There's some more up there. Those guys are actually moving around. You can see them. I'll try and zoom in real close. You can see those. They're actually active. Late April. It's pretty early uh, for these guys to be coming out. That's probably the earliest I've ever seen them pop out and come out on uh, at least on my property um, but the past few years they've been pretty bad in my mulberry trees uh, these ones are fruitless I never get berries off of, off of my mulberries um, and I've also got active scale on my crepe myrtle over here on my uh, on the corner of my property out there um, so today I figured I'd make a video uh, we're gonna cut these guys out and kind of pull apart the webbing and get a closer look at them see what they look like um and then we'll go over some treatment options as homeowners different treatments you could have done uh whether you do them yourself or if you hire a company like uh, city turf who i work for or whoever's in your area if you hire them to come out and uh, try and take care of them for you so i'm gonna get those guys cut down and uh get a closer look all righty guys well here we are much later in the day it's uh i think just after eight o'clock right now i had to take a break from earlier yeah 8 10. so i finally i've got enough daylight to finish the video right now we're on the floor in my garage because my work table is uh very crowded um this is an older section um of the tree this is kind of where i first saw them active up in my tree um, and you can see what they do the to what they do to the foliage um, they kind of like skeletonize it they uh yeah they eat the nutrients and everything out and they just kind of leave the skeleton of the foliage there uh, and obviously this um, unattractive webbing uh, so this area is not active anymore but you could see I think those might be eggs they uh they pretty much do all this but here's an active area and i'm gonna zoom in you might not see them just yet but here we go getting closer you can see what these guys are doing to this foliage and they're uh look, come on camera where you at lost focus I'll zoom them out but you can see what they've been doing to these leaves maybe I'll just bring them closer but they're just in there working away feeding and uh, yeah this is what they do so these are relatively small areas but you can see how many of them are in this tiny area on this tree and uh, they were working on this section and then kind of moved on from there so we're gonna bag these guys up real good and tight and throw them in the trash can um, and I'm gonna show you all what I'm gonna put down on this tree today um, and we're gonna keep an eye on it this is gonna be kind of an experiment um, I didn't want to bring any products home from work just yet um, so I'm a I've got a product that I picked up from uh, Home Depot or Lowe's. It's at uh, either one, I believe. Um, but I picked it up. I've had it for quite a while. But I'm going to check out the directions on it. We'll, we'll look over it real quick. Um, and then uh, apply it to the tree. And I'm going to keep an eye on it. I have two mulberries. Uh, so I'm just going to apply it to the tree that they are active in so far and uh, we'll just keep an eye on the other one 
So here in a couple of weeks or to a, you know, a couple of weeks to a month or so, uh, I'm going to keep an eye on everything on both of these trees and uh, see what happens. We're going to see if, if this product, of course, a loud truck goes by. All right, so what we're going to do with these guys, I don't have any spray, but I'm going to just throw them in the can. And we're going to bag that up and tie it and then uh, throw it into another bag. All right, so um, I haven't looked at this product in quite a while. Um, new names, same great results. I've, I've had this container for quite a while. Uh, claims to be 12 month tree and shrub protect and feed concentrate two. Uh, insect protection uh, plus provides slow release feeding, revitalizes trees and shrubs. No spraying, mix and pour at tree base. Claims to control Japanese beetle, gypsy moth, white fly, and emerald ash borer, which is a uh, big thing because they are here in Texas. So that is pretty big. Uh, and it's only 12 months. We have a product at work actually that is, um, I believe, a two year protection um, from triage. It's uh, from Arborjet, it's a triage. Uh, and I believe it's that's a, uh, a two-year protection. So this is only going to be 12 month, uh, fast acting and 12 month long lasting. No spring, just mix and pour. Protection feeds entire tree or shrub for outdoor residential use only. Oh, there you go. I'll uh, put that there so y'all could pause it and kind of see what's going on here. I mean, you could always go pick it up yourself as well. Um, but there's a number of things where to use. I don't want to read all, all through this, but uh, you do need to measure around the trunk, DBH type stuff, how much to use. So y'all can pause and read over that, look it up. Um, so I'm going to mix up some of this. And we're going to pour it around the base of that tree and uh, we're going to see how this does. Um, I actually want to see. Um, there's leaf miners and other listed pests. So it's got a list. I may look at the list real quick and see if it's got web worms actually listed. So uh, let's check that out real quick. There we go. So caterpillars, including gypsy moss, fall webworms, and tent caterpillars. So uh, you can see there controls quite a bit. Um, it is listed for, I think I saw it here. Oh, where did I see it? Oh, here we go. Uh, so it is listed for like on your crepe myrtles, aphids, armored scales, mealy bugs. Uh, soft scales, thrips, um, yeah, it's it's listed for a good amount of uh, different different insects. So, yeah, it uh, seems pretty legit. So we're gonna get this mixed up and then uh, go apply it to our tree. All right, so hopefully y'all can hear me okay, and uh, hopefully can uh, see me okay out here. We're losing some light. And uh, hopefully the camera stays straight on this trunk or on this tripod. But uh, you can see you can't really get a DBH on this tree. Um, there are methods of getting DBHs on, on trees. Um, DBH is diameter uh, at breast height. But as you can see, it, it splits up pretty much just before. But um, on the directions, it just says... Use a flexible tape to measure the distance around the tree. So I'm gonna set y'all down and we'll just measure a little bit down, probably a little bit just below where it kind of swells up and starts to split up. A little dark, but it'll do.
All right, so it's right at 59 inches all the way around. So we're gonna check out these directions and uh, see what 59 inches gets us. Oh, that's bright. All right, so trees. If the tree measures greater than 50 inches around, pour the required product into two gallons of water. Flexible tape measure, blah, blah, blah. All right, so this is what I was trying to find here. It says how much to use. Oh, kind of out, out of focus there. Come on. Focus. There you go. How much do you use? Trees. One ounce for every inch of distance around trunk. Treats four trees, blah, blah, blah. So one ounce for every inch. So we need 59 ounces. And since it's over 50 inches around the tree, we have to mix it into two gallons. So, all right. Let's get this mixed up and then we'll get to pouring. Alrighty, so um, I've got a five gallon bucket. Um, so for 59 inches of tree, uh, this measures out eight ounces. Eight ounces, so we're gonna need about seven of these. So hopefully I still have enough in this container. Uh, if not, we'll use what we got and see what it does. But you can see that it's pretty green 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 stuff that looks like that'll turn you into the hulk but i do not feel like testing that out for y'all so so one and we're gonna need about we need seven of those so that's one two i don't know if we have enough Two, three. Wow. Okay. So we are definitely low. But we'll be sure to get every drop out of this bottle that we can. Well, that sucks. I thought I had enough. But we do not. But you know what? Here goes to the experiment, right? So we're going to see. We're going to see what we end up with. And we're going to see how this goes. Hopefully y'all are even going to be able to see me anymore. Put y'all back here because I don't want to spray the camera with water. Now, I wish we had more daylight going on out here. But that's alright. Alright, now we're going to just apply it around the base of the tree and then uh, it says to apply the same amount of water of just clean water after that so pour it evenly all right so i apologize greatly for losing the daylight but here's what we ended up with it kind of ran off but that should be fine i applied it pretty heavily all the way around it so Got the base of the tree covered. Ooh, man, that light is bright. So that's pretty much it, guys. Um, if y'all are interested, it is listed. I wanted to, I might have to go pick up some more because I wanted to treat my uh, crepe myrtle with this because I do have some active scale on it. Um, and like I said before, bringing any products home from work um or anything like that you know asking if if that's even okay to do uh if the boss man's okay with me doing that and uh making videos on it um i wanted to do this because that's more accessible for uh other homeowners uh for y'all's trees and shrubs and crate myrtles and and whatnot uh it is more it's easier sometimes for you to go get a product and uh by yourself from lowe's or home depot or a nursery or anything like that anywhere you could go uh, if they have products like that so i wanted to do this little experiment just to see we're going to keep an eye on it we're going to see if it works uh, so i'm gonna go pick up some more and in another video uh, here in a couple of days or a week or so we'll uh, apply it to the crepe myrtle and we'll see how that does see if i get any aphids or if it uh, kills off the scale for me um and they do claim to control eab uh emerald ash borer so uh very invasive if y'all haven't heard of that or don't know anything about that 
you may want to look into it if you have ash trees and you're on your property so uh, be sure to check that out and look into that um, if you know if you don't want to do it yourself or don't want to trust a, a product that you could buy off the shelf you want something stronger uh, a little more capable of knocking stuff out and taking care of stuff uh, quicker um, look up tree shrub healthcare companies around you uh, you know city turf where I work uh, we could definitely come out and help you if if you're in our service area if not there's uh, definitely other companies out there that can help you all out so uh, I hope you all enjoyed this little video um, leave me some comments below if y'all have questions if y'all want to see me go over this more or go over other things more be sure to let me know hit the like button for me guys hit the subscribe button if you haven't already uh, if you want to see more videos like this let me know hit that subscribe button so you can uh, be here to see them when i upload them so really appreciate the view guys thanks for watching i'll see you all next time